we were asked to put some lights in this room. It's real dark in here. This is the only light that was in here. This piece of crap was right in the middle of the room. You couldn't see anything. So we put in four LEDs. Now you can see. Four LED strip lights. But here's the problem. Now that we can see, now we see the sewer lines are leaking. I was over here installing this outlet and I smelled poop. So then I come over to this one. All cracked up, goes inside of the wall. So we're gonna open it up, see what we gotta do to fix it. Plus I gotta replace this piece of crap laundry sink. You turn it on and that flies off. Stupidity. Customer just bought the house like this. Of course the home, home inspector didn't catch none of this. Leaks everywhere. Now I could see him saying, oh, we can't open walls and look in walls, but this is all out in the open. I mean, I understand the lighting was bad in here, but you shouldn't have a flashlight, something. Well, I'm gonna get the chipping gun, chip this out, see what we gotta do. Stinks in there, so we already know the whole pipe is probably shot. Yep, no, stinks. stops about there so I'm just gonna have to try to cut it in there it's not gonna be easy but nothing is so here's where we're at I'm gonna cut down here in firm co gotta cut way up inside there on the crack. Through the grace of God, I was able to cut it without cutting these water lines. And I just gotta clean it up and get a fern co on there. Make sure there's no more cracks. Here we go, new pipes in. Went back with PVC. Front co back there. Gonna let the joints dry for a little while and we're gonna test it. I'll hook up the sink later because I gotta replace this. Patch the hole in the floor later because we're going to redo this one probably tomorrow. And we're going to try to put a sump pump right there. See what happens. As you can hear, the sinks are running, no leaks.
Excellent. Day two. Still good, no leaks. Now we're gonna take this one out. Take all this mess out. Try to put it back with PVC. These two nightmares are out back now. Yeah, unfortunately our house flooded. Everything got wet. Trying to dry it out with this Home Depot dehumidifier. Now we gotta put this mess back together. kitchen sink. So yeah, we redid this pipe. We just tested it, and it's leaking, and it's my worst nightmare. It's leaking up, up inside of the wall. Uh, let's go see. At first, I thought I did something, but I just found a crack. here so somehow I gotta cut this nightmare out and fish it out through there there's a couple weird 45s not sure how this is gonna work I don't think I cracked this oh, man. so there you go another crack inside the wall now I gotta try to cut it here somewhere without it cracking again but luckily I missed the kitchen I did not want to rip the kitchen apart I'm over here this little side room thankfully I don't have to destroy the kitchen these are the nightmares you get involved in Right here. Looks like another crack starting to form. So you think you're gonna buy a house and just move in, huh? I don't think so. No such thing as move in ready. Put a little band-aid on it for overnight. Caulk the crack with some urethane. And put this rubberized foil tape. So I put this band-aid on yesterday just to get through the night. And unfortunately, check this out. Now it cracked above. Oh dear. And it goes all the way up to two bathrooms. that rat's nest of wires is and so now I'm gonna have to take the rest of this out probably this soffit up here thankfully I have the soffit to get into and I can avoid the kitchen Let's see what kind of nightmare this is gonna be 
She said she heard a couple cracks and pops last night, and here you go. So the tape did work, the rubber tape. But, unfortunately, this pipe is shot. So yeah, the crack stops here at this bell. But as you can see, it looks like it's been leaking anyway. It's leaking up here, so I'm probably gonna have to replace all this, which is an absolute nightmare. Guess I'm gonna have to cut into this soffit, maybe the ceiling. There's a second toilet over here by the chimney. Absolute nightmare. Not sure what this nonsense is. Old phone wires. Of course, it doesn't go to just one toilet, it has to go to two has to be as complicated as possible. So we decided to try to cut it here on top of the bell. I'm gonna see. Now I'm gonna have to try to cut that piece off. And there's a couple funny 45s down there or something. I'm gonna have to try to feed them out through the basement. See what happens. Yeah, I couldn't really video me cutting the pipe. It's bad enough I have poop dust all over me. I'm not looking to get it all over my phone. I'm gonna try to connect to this. Now we gotta go try to get these fittings out of there. Let's go down in the basement and see. fittings out of here looks like a nightmare looks like it's not gonna fit absolute nightmare so yeah I thought it was gonna be a nightmare we're gonna have to cut the floor open more but nah the kid just grabbed it and handled it there it is nightmares out of there The kid just flushed the two toilets and the sinks are running as you can hear, no leaks. Thankfully, what a nightmare. Let me show you what I did up top. I thought this was some kind of leak from years ago, but it looks like whenever they did the lead and oakum, whatever they call it, it just looks like stains from that because nothing's running or dripping. You can see dry here, just weird wet stains. Had to go with the firm codes because, of course, you can't pick the cast iron up to get the pipe in, so do what you gotta do sometimes but it's not leaking that's all that matters